rotary cutters for sewing that's coming up. Hello Fashion Sewer, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. If you're looking to improve your fashion sewing skills, consider subscribing and let's get started. So we are going to be talking about rotary cutters. Now I have two here and we're going to talk about each one in turn. Now you can replace these um, by not using scissors if you prefer to use rotary cutter for whatever your reasons are. Um, I've had these for several, several years um, and I kind of work between the two maybe because I'm used to using scissors more that I tend to go for my scissors when I'm ready to cut out um, in paper or when I'm ready to go out in fabric but I do use my rotary cutter so I do find them very handy. Now we do need to and you know the reason why it's the same that applies to your scissors you need one for paper and one for fabric as you do with your scissors. So we're going to talk about them and what they can do and how they are quite necessary for your sewing projects. Now um, they are very similar, they can come in many different colours and different sizes as well and um, these are the ones I've been working with for a number of years. They last a very long time, yeah they last a very 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 long time and um, so we're just going to talk roughly about what they are and how they are kind of um, used generally. But saying that, I have done a video tutorial on how to use a rotary cutter. So I'll put a link to that video in the description so you can have a look at that. So yeah, let's go into a bit more detail about the rotary cutters. So let's talk about the first one here. Um, I use this one for uh, my cutting of paper. Um, there's no particular reason, it's just, what's this, I can't remember, yeah, this was my first purchase, so yeah, I would have got this when I needed to um, cut with paper, like I said, I'm so used to cutting um, fabric with scissors, but yeah, they are so sturdy, um, this one is what you call a, it doesn't really have a name, but you push, you pull, the braid is exposed, so there is a lever here, in which you grip it with your thumb and you pull the cover towards you and that is the blade. Please do not touch the blade, it is sharp. So whenever you use your blade just make sure you push the lever forward to protect yourself and anyone around from being cut from the blade. So now the blade is protected and it should not um, be able to cut anything once the cover is now in its position. So that is what you call, I call this a slider one um, compared to the other one. So remember it is pulled towards you, the blade is now exposed and then you push it forward in order to close and make sure the blade is no longer exposed. If I turn it sideways, you can see that the tip I'll share with you is that this can be for left-handed or right-handed people. And the reason being is that the tool itself, the handle, it has the same mechanism on both sides. So as you can see, the blade here is on the right-hand side, this side is on this side. This blade can also be put onto the opposite side which means a left-hander will find it a lot more easier to do. It's quite clever, isn't it, really? So that is the front of it, and that is the back. As you can see, there's a big screw here, and that is used to remove the blades, the blade, I should say. So there we have the photo cutter. Pull it backwards, forwards to cut to cover and then you are safe to put it to one side until you need it again. Now for the next one, 
Um, this I like this one actually. It's uh, up to between me and you. Yeah, I do like this one. Um, the best. I think it's because of the handle shaping up the handles. It feels a lot more comfortable in the hand as opposed to the other one where it's just straight and it has a trigger. So the way you use this one is you press the trigger forward and the blade then appears and then release and it snaps back into place. And I think one of the reasons why I think the trigger ones, in my personal opinion, are very easy to use and is safer is the fact that once you've got it in your hand and you pull the trigger, the blade is exposed, please let go, put it away, you don't have to worry about it. As with this one, it, there could potentially be a problem if you leave the blade out and, you know, put it to one side, that blade is exposed and, yeah. So, um, out of the two for safety reasons, definitely the trigger one I would prefer. But, um, like I said, I've had them for many years, so, uh, and I can always distinguish between the one that I want to use for paper and also my fabric one. So this one I use on my fabrics, like I said, it's a trigger. It's kind of like a toy as well, I suppose. <laughs> so as soon as you press the trigger, trigger in, as you can see, it's going into the handle. And as soon as I release, it pops out into the handle. The blade comes out, the blade is now exposed. Pull away my finger and the blade snaps back into place. And you can also do the same with this as well, where a left-hander or a right-hander can use it. So as you can see, with this blade, it is actually on the left-hand side. And you can put it onto the right-hand side. Isn't that cute? So those are rotary cutters. Paper and fabric. Stick around on the channel for more awesome fashion sewing tutorials. Do check the description in order to get the link to how to use a rotary cutter. There are some links also if you wish to purchase either the slider or the trigger rotary cutter too. So if you have any comments or queries, please put those in a comment box. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Do share the video and I will see you next time.